Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, <clears throat> and I'm here to talk about some college uh, football. I wanted to give uh, my thoughts on the uh, 2023 season, the 2023 college football season. It's about to start here in about 3-4 days. Uh, games will officially start week zero. I'm really excited uh, for this college football season, just a few days away. And I want to get, really give my title favorites, my title favorites for this season. There's uh, about five teams that I, want, that I list as my title favorites. Uh, and there's some surprise teams that I think will uh, shock some people uh, this season. And I'll talk about maybe a contender that I'm concerned, a contender that I'm concerned about. And I'll do probably a Kentucky preview. A few days if I haven't done one yet, so <laughs> I'm really excited for this season. So let's get to this preview next. Um, but yeah, um, so my first title favorite uh, on my list, I have obviously Georgia. There's a title favorite going to this season. Uh, they've won back to back, I believe. Yeah, back to back champ national championships. They obviously got that big uh, destructive win that last year against TCU. And who can anyone stop Georgia in their quest for third straight championship? I think there could be some teams, <coughs> but I don't know if they'll be able to do it. And obviously their favorite win their third straight championship, which is hardly surprising given how they marched through the 2022 season undefeated, ending with a 65 to 7 dismantling of TC in the national championship game. And so far, so can the Bulldogs be stopped? And who could have the best chance to do so? Uh, I think there's a few teams that can have a shot. And can they can they be stopped? And will they be stopped? Is like two different questions to me because. It's certainly possible that losing 10 NFL draft picks in 2023 and 15 the prior year might be too much for them to overcome, especially since one of the losses was a two-time national champion quarterback, Nat, uh, Stetson Bennett, player for whom appreciation should grow in the coming years, in my opinion. Rejecting quarterbacks is such an inexact science that's plausible. Both Carson Beck, Carson Beck and Brock Vander give two players value to replace Bennett trying to fight for a starting role. They might struggle or might need time to, to adjust. But I don't think it will matter, uh, losing all the talent. But so let's not forget that Georgia's recruiting has become a assembly line of talent under Kirby Smart. Because <laughs> his 2022 class is ranked third nationally and boasted 15 players among the top 150. And his 2023 recruiting class was ranked second nationally and featured 14 players ranked among the top 50. 150. So they still have, uh... 14 players ranked among the top 150 prospects, plus a trio from incoming transfers ranked among the top 100 players in the portal. So, yeah, they've lost a lot of talent to the NFL, but they've still got a lot of talent from recruiting and some from from the transfer portal. And I think Carson Bagger and Brock Vandergriff, whoever gets a starting job, will be just fine. Okay, so, can they be stopped in 2023? Sure, there's a chance. Will they? That's a different story. Because their schedule looks pretty easy, um, to be honest. Like, their schedule are really difficult. Because they play Tennessee Martin open the season, Ball State, uh, South Carolina, UAB, Auburn, Kentucky, Vanderbilt, Florida, Missouri, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Georgia Tech. Really, their tough games here are Ole Miss and Tennessee. So they get, if they can get by those games, they might easily go undefeated, uh, honestly. They might go undefeated. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to say Georgia. But nobody team's managed to pull off a three-peat since like the 1930s. That's going to be tough for Georgia, but I think they can do it. <laughs> I think they, they can replace Stetson Bennett. I'll say Alabama's obviously a title favorite. I know they haven't made the playoffs the last few years. Um, or last year they didn't make it. They were very close. Uh, but I'll say Alabama's definitely a title favorite. Their roster isn't as good as the previous rosters that won championships where they've had like stud receivers come through like Jalen Waddle, uh, Henry Ruggs, who well, obviously is now in prison. Uh, they've had good quarterbacks. Jalen Hurts through there. Tua Tagovailoa, Bryce Young, 
the QB's now not as talented, but I still think they'll be a title favorite under Nick Saban. It's hard to count out a Nick Saban Alabama team. No matter how much you want to, it's, it's hard to count them out. Ohio State is another title favorite. I think they'll be back right where they were last season, the playoffs. Maybe this time they can uh, may actually make the championship game. <laughs> Uh, but they're returning Marvin Harrison uh, Jr., I believe. Uh, it's hard to count Ohio State because they're always good at every year in the regular season. It's just, can they finally uh, get over the hump? Can they make the championship and win it? We'll just have to see, have to find out. They were a kick last year for making the championship, so. Michigan's obviously another contender. Uh, you got Blake Quorum coming back. Uh... Their be- the, probably one of their best players, in my opinion, had like 1,400 yards last year before he suffered that season-ending uh, injury. So I think they'll be a contender. USC, Caleb Williams coming back. The question is, can that defense be better than last year? Their defense really cost them a chance of making the playoffs. So, I think those will be some teams. Uh, they can give them a run. Some, so a surprise, some surprise teams here. I'm gonna say Texas, Texas surprise team. I'll stay in the Lone Star State. Uh, they have a favorable schedule. They got Oregon, Kansas State, and TCU and Lubbock, and don't play Oklahoma. And they go to win close games. They were four and zero in one score game last season. They return a ton of production to that team and have two and have t- have a two deep stacked with upperclassmen. I think Texas Tech's gonna be an underrated team uh, this year. Maybe the biggest concern is keeping QB. Uh, vet, the veteran quarterback Tyler Tyler us uh, so healthy, but if they do, it wouldn't surprise me if Joey McGuire's group went to that finale against Texas and also with a Big 12 title uh, game trip on the line. I really think Texas Tech can be in that Big 12 title game uh, contention. I'm gonna say Colorado uh, next. <laughs> That's my pick to surprise everyone. I think they're gonna be better than last year, and they a completely overhauled roster. Uh, raring to stampede. I'm going to say his team is going to be uh, a team that's going to be good. Uh, I'll say Wisconsin's my last uh, surprise team. Uh, I think it'll be worth watching under uh, first year head coach Luke Fickle. Uh, the Badgers enter the season right 19th, but they have a very manageable schedule enough for giving Big Ten West. They avoid, they avoid playing Michigan and Penn State during his inaugural season. It has a difficult crossover matchup against Ohio State at home on Halloween weekend, so safe the student section will be rocking there. But I think nine or ten wins is very well within reach with a uh, Tanner uh, Mord- Mordecai, uh, the SMU transfer, if that's how you say his last name, a quarterback. I think uh, Wisconsin uh, will be my last surprise team. So I have Texas Tech, Wisconsin, Colorado is my surprise team. I'm concerned about Clemson as a contender. I'm concerned about. It's just last few years they haven't been the same. It's just ever since they've lost like Trevor Lawrence, that team just hasn't been that good. And I don't think it's with the coach. It's just the players are just not as talented, say, as when they've had uh, over the past. Like Hunter Hunter Renfro was good. Um, Trevor Lawrence, Deshaun Watson. It's just they don't have those type of talented players right now on that team. I just don't. I'm just really concerned about Clemson. So, yeah, that's really my preview. I want to give, like, my title favorites. Some teams I think will be surprised that people want, aren't really talking about, but they should as the season goes along. And, basically, I'm concerned with Clemson as my contender I'm concerned about. But, yeah, if I, um, so that's my first, really, preview of the 2023 college season. I'll do a Kentucky preview in a few days. Or, whenever I do the Kentucky preview uh, for my team this year. So, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Until next time, I'll Peace.